K-pop presents Crackpop Stadium. Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging with J-Pop. Today we're going to be making crock pot play-doh. Ingredients. Two cups of flour. Half a cup of salt. Four tablespoons of cream. Four tablespoons cream of tartar. Two cups of water. Two tablespoons oil. One or two teaspoons. Food coloring. Okay, so directions. Number one, add the flour, salt, cream of tartar in the crock pot and mix. So I guess these three. So we're just gonna do that. Okay. And we're gonna, and then add this. And before we put this in, like this stuff, um, the cream of tartar, that's called its satisfying stage, or that's at least what I call it. Oh. It feels so good. In a diff, okay, and mix. So what we're gonna do is just do it like this, or do this. Either one. I'm gonna use my hands because it feels a lot better. Sorry about the noise. I just scooted my chair over here. Is that enough mixing? One more. Hmm. In a different container, add water, oil, food coloring, and mix. So what we're gonna do is, this is our water, okay? So we're gonna add in the oil. And don't drop the cup in there, because that's what I almost did. Now, we're gonna be making blue. You can do it with any other color. We're just doing that. Oh, mix. Okay. Add the liquid to the crock pot and stir. Make sure to stir it really good. So, what we're just gonna do is we're just gonna easily take it over here. And pour it in there. It looks like icy water. Like the Atlantic Ocean or the Titanic sink. Now, we're gonna need to get our stirring tool. And you see all that white? We're going to need to stir it, all the food coloring onto that. 
Don't. Yeah, and another rule. Don't slosh it. And over there, uh, we have three other colors. I made a bridge out of them. And um, that's what they'll look like. Crock-Pot Play-Doh. Right now, this is probably its disgusting stage. It's disgusting but fun stage. Okay, so after a few minutes of mis mixing, uh, okay, okay. No, just put it in there. Okay. We're gonna get the lid. Put it there. Put it on high. Now, stir every five minutes for 30 minutes. Then cook in pot another 15 minutes. to take off the lid and stir. Do not touch the crock pot. You could get burned. Always have an adult supervision. Let me see. The dough will be done when it doesn't stick to the crock pot. Take it out and let it cool off. Knead it. Knead it. The more you knead it, the softer and smoother it will become. Place it in a covered container and store it in the fridge. Make sure your mom helps you with the play-doh. Or your dad, if you're a daddy's girl, or you're a mommy's boy. goes deeper but it no it doesn't but one batch cannot fit in a play-doh can like it's so much tell me when I'm give me thumbs up mama when I'm done stirring
It's changing. You might not think it's changing, but there is minor changes. You'll see a difference from the first till the sixth time we stir. Is it the small part that goes to the high? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Like right now it's like pointing off the high, like below. It's fine. As you see, it's starting to come off the crock pot pretty easily. Won't be much longer now. So we'll just let it sit in here a few more minutes and we'll get it out. Okay, I think it's finished. So we'll set our bowl over here to put it in. Excuse me. Since Jamesy is injured, I'm trying to record and get, get this out at the same time, but I don't think I have enough hands. Let's see. Okay, let's put it in the bowl. And let's get some of this little stuff here. this over here so it can cool because it is super hot right now. You have to be really careful when it comes out. But not as hot as the crock pot. We'll give it a few minutes then we'll need it. But you know it's done when it Comes off of the crock pot fairly easy and it doesn't stick to your fingers. See? So here's the blue now that it's finished. I've kneaded it a little bit. Need it some more.
but it has the same consistency as Play-Doh, just not the same smell. You can do this in summertime, in wintertime. It takes maybe an hour. With prep time and cook time. And when you are done playing with it, put it in an airtight container. Okay. With a lid. And store it in the fridge until next time you want to play. Hope you have fun with crock pot play doh. Thanks for watching.